Ding, ding. Ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Whoa, oh my God, you're going so in on that hand. Wow, welcome back to the Jenna Julian podcast. Welcome How's back, it going, guys. Dink fam? Dink fam. Uh, we are back with another podcast. This episode is brought to you by Me Undies. Look at all this festive. Me Undies. Holiday of beautiful underwear. I saw this print on the bot the other day. It was so festive. I'm wearing, I'm wearing some right now. Guys, get yourself some holiday me undies right now. They are the sexiest underwear in town. And you know what? If your day starts with underwear and ends with underwear, why would you settle for anything less than amazing, which mm. is what me undies is? Mm. Right now, you get 20% off your first order by going to meundies.com. Hell yeah. Jenna Julian. Uh, look, let's wear these at the same time. We'll be like uh, thing one and thing two. It's so cute. Me undy one and me undy two. Yeah, these are their holiday. Uh, prints and they are super festive That's snowflakes so on this one i yeah, love like, these lights yeah christmas lights also uh this episode is brought to you by nature box guys nature box is no longer a monthly subscription service now nature box offers complete flexibility for members who want to order whatever they want whenever they want game changer which is really awesome this is probably one of my favorite snacks the baked blue corn tortilla chips which i'll be uh very rudely snacking on throughout the podcast <laughs> Right now, you go to naturebox.com slash Jenna Julian, and you get 50% off first order. Uh, really awesome change from Naturebox, so you don't have to only get monthly subscriptions. You can get it how you want. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. OG sponsors. Yes. They've been here with us. They've been had, been here. They've been, been had, been here, been here. Been had. All right. So, if you remember, I know you've seen the title of this podcast, but if you remember, we played a game called Super Fight, where you got a card and it gave you a character or a person, and then you had to argue your position and some powers. You had to argue why your person would be the other person, person's person, character. Mm -hmm. And Julian got the card Gandhi, and I said... Well, first of all, Gandhi's dead, so you already lose. That was my argument. To which Julian responded, is he dead? I don't know. Is he? And then he looked it up and just quickly glanced. Because, you know, we're in the podcast. Sometimes it's not like you're sitting here reading Wikipedia. You glance at it. And it said age 78. So Julian argued that Gandhi was alive. And we sat here and had this moment of, well, oh, well, I guess he's alive. Mind fuck. I guess he's alive. But Gandhi is Very super dead. dead. All right. Yeah. But we thought it would be funny if I compiled a list of people because we've done two podcasts where Julian's we know that Julian sucks at celebrity trivia, which is hysterical. No one's laughing at you. We're all That's laughing funny. with you. I agree. It's funny. And also I, mm -hmm. some of these people like I, I had to Google how old they are when they died, if they're alive, how old they are, if they're alive. Yeah. And I wouldn't know a lot of this stuff had I not just Googled it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But I made a master list of people, and we're going to play Dead or Alive. Are you ready? I'm ready. Julian. Let's get it on. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. Yeah, tell I'm going to tell the you the person. Okay. You're going to tell me if they're dead or alive. If they're alive, how old they are. If they're dead, how old they were or when they died. Do I have to say how they died? I mean, I don't know the answer to all of that. Oh, okay, so no. But you could. And I have to get their age? You don't have to. But okay. say, you know, so say I, I say, uh, Bette Midler, and you're like, she's alive, tell me how old you think she is, or if she's dead, tell me when she died and how old she was when she is died. She on the list? No. Okay. Good, because I didn't know that one. <laughs> All right, let's get going. All right. So this, it's a mix of celebrities, <sighs> historical figures, that kind of thing. Are you excited, Julian? No. To play Dead or Alive? No. no. <laughs> okay, so since I believe we were talking about Mahatma Gandhi, the first person on this list is Indira Gandhi. What? Is Indira Gandhi dead or alive? The only other Gandhi that's famous. Another Gandhi? Dead. That is correct. Right, is Indira Gandhi a boy or a girl? Girl. She is a girl. How old was she when she died? When did she die? 61. When did she die? Mm, the end of her life. That's close. She's six, she was 66. She died in 1984. She oh. was the prime minister of India. All right. I knew all of that. So. Okay. 
<clears throat> Next person, Julian, is Patty LaBelle dead or alive? She is very alive. <laughs> You know that one. Yes, because I watch. I watch Tell her us why you show. know that one. I watch her cooking show where she has these giant ass fake nails and she's like mashing crab cakes together with oh, her fucking amazing. bare hands. It's incredible. Yeah, Patty how, LaBelle, queen. How old do you think Patty LaBelle is? Fifty eight. That is incorrect. Patty LaBelle is seventy two years old. What? Yeah, Patty LaBelle is seventy two. Shit. Yeah. Okay, I see you, Patty. That's why it's also f- even funnier that she has six inch long nails. Yeah. This bitch is 72. She, seem, she seems senile. That makes sense now. <laughs> oh my God. All right, Julian. Oh my God. How many names do you have? Do you know off the top of your head? Uh, one, two, three, four. You don't have to count them right six, now. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four. There's probably about 15 per page, and there's four pages. Okay. So, right, let's get moving. Julian is George W. Bush dead or alive? <laughs> really? Dead or alive? George W. Bush. He's alive. How old is he? Sixty-three. He's seventy. Okay. George H. W. Bush. His father. Dead or alive? Dead. When did he die? And how old? Died in two thousand seven. Mm-hmm. When he was. I don't know. 90. He's alive and he's 92 years old. <laughs> That's old, okay? That's old. All right, I got the first one wrong. First one wrong. Okay. Amelia Earhart. <laughs> she's still up there. She's still flying in the sky. <laughs> she just keeps refueling. She keeps refueling in the sky. <laughs> RIP in peace. She died in 1951. How old was she when she died? 29. Uh, that, those aren't the worst guesses. She died July 2nd, 1937. Oh, God. She was 30, a hard day for me. 39 years old. 39. 39. So I was off with that. 39 years old. Auntie Amelia. We will always remember her. As the best aunt. The best aunt. Of all time. Of all time. Still watching us from her plane. <laughs> what if that was a thing? Like that you could fly forever as long as you kept refueling? <laughs> <laughs> like uh, people just live in the air yeah just emitting so much carbon into the yeah atmosphere no yeah totally that's that's right it'd be tight yeah right. that's what she's doing that's what amelia hurts doing mm-hmm. oh she's dead though wait so is she dead julian I already said I already answered the question moving on all right <clears throat> judy garland dead or alive she the author she is not an author. <clears throat> <laughs> Don't look at my not, lips. Okay. Can you literally never say that to me? Because I'm okay. not going to cheat. All right. Okay. Is, do you, okay. Who is Judy Garland? Wait, no, no, that's not a game we're playing. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. That's not the game I signed up for. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's, she's dead, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, when did she die? You know, like, don't make me ask. 1955. When, and how old was she when she died? 78. Mm. Judy Garland was the star of The Wizard of Oz. The, yeah, the one with the slippers. The one with the slippers. She died in, uh, wait, that's not right, is it? I wrote 1922, age 47. That's That seems a that long might have time been, ago. Uh, That's when she was born, probably. Maybe. But she died. Oh, my God, Julian. Are you really going to eat corn chips? What? No. Um, she mm-hmm. was 48. Er, no, sorry. 47 when she died. 47? Well, I'm trying to think of the author that you thought, Judy Garland. Are you thinking of Judy Bloom? No. I'm thinking of someone else. Yeah, she was born in 1922. She died in 1969. Jane Garland? Is that a thing? You know, I don't know. <laughs> Julian. What? No ASMR eating corn chips. Okay. All right. The next person is Larry King. Dead or alive? <sighs> Larry King is alive. He's 83. Oh, my God. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the Julian like, exactly. Show. Exactly. 83 years old. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm like honestly really impressed. Oh, yeah. 
The chances of you getting any of these perfectly right is not high. All right, let's wow some fools. <laughs> okay, Julian. Whitney Houston, dead or alive? Dead. When did she die? How old was she? <sighs> she died four years ago. I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> it was four years ago, right? It actually was, yeah. How old she is was she? She was 47. She's 48. <laughs> She died February 11th, 2012. Her age is 48. Oh. All right, this is getting a little weird. <laughs> Why am I so good at this? Oh, boy. Here we go. All right, Whitney Houston's daughter, Bobby Christina Brown, dead or alive? Stop fucking eating. <laughs> Play the game. Why do I feel like she's dead? Answer the question. She's alive. Keep going. How old is she? Daughter? Yeah. 24. Bobby Christina Brown is dead and she is 22 when that, she died. That happened recently, right? Yeah, in the bathtub. Hmm. That's right. That's what it's sad. That is this sad. game is meant is absolutely no disrespect, but it is fun. It's fun, but we're not laughing at their death. No. We're laughing at my lack of knowledge of everything because I'm dumb. Stop it. No, you're not. It's a fun game. Stop eating chips, fam. Really. This is too much ASMR chip eating. Stop! I'm done. I'm done. (laughs) Sorry. Nature box is dank. I'm going to take that nature box away from you. Okay. Pablo Picasso. Dead or alive? He is dead. He is so dead. He died at age 62, 70 years ago. Give me a year. 1944. He died April 8th, 1973. He was 91 years old. All right. That was pretty close. Right. At least you knew he was dead. You got that part right. You got yeah. the most important part right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He was good at art. He was. He was great at art. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we get taught who was good at art, though. I know, right? Like, what if you just want to scour old artists and be like, dude, this one guy, though, he was off the chain. Or this guy who got so much recognition was low-key trash. Low-key trash. Overrated. Overhyped. Yep. Low-key garbage, fam. All right. All right. Bill Gates. Alive. Dead, dead or alive? Alive. How old is he? 77. He is 61 years old. Oh, he's looking good for... 60. No, he's looking bad for 61. Julie. Oh well, I thought God. he was 77. Why is he 61? He looks older than he is, is he's, what I'm saying. He's younger than my mom. He doesn't look 61. How old does he look? 77. Damn. He looks like all that, all those. Being a billionaire is like. Windows is stressing him out. Windows is stressing him out. I mean, <laughs> it stresses everyone out, and we didn't Especially invent it. Him, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. He sleeps at night and he goes, do, 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 do. Okay. That's the one thing I'll miss most from Vine is those windows edits. I know. Ronald Reagan, dead or alive? Ronald Reagan is dead. How old was he? When did he die? 51. When did he die? Uh, some time ago. Come on. What? When did he die? Some time ago. 15 you know, times two years ago, 30 years ago, 20 years ago. He is dead. You got that part right. Yay. Good for you. June 5th, 2004, he was 93 when he died. That was close. Very close. Very. All right. Diana Ross. Do you know who that is? What? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who Diana Ross is? Yeah. Who is she? She's a female singer. Oh, yeah, she is. She's dead. How old was she when she died? 70. What year? 1999. Okay, she's alive and she's 72. (laughs) She just got a a freedom medal from President Barack Obama the other day. Oh, how'd that go? It was good. It's a good thing she's alive. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I love this game. Okay. Okay. The Dalai Lama, dead or alive? Dalai Lama. Someone's running a Twitter account with that name. (laughs) May or may not be the Dalai Lama. (laughs) 
<laughs> go out, Somebody's doing it. <laughs> go out on a limb and say, Dad died in 1966. Uh, he's alive and he's 81. <laughs> so that's his running the attack. <laughs> Uh, well, somebody's doing it. We don't know who. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Regis Philbin, dead or alive? Regis Philbin is alive. How old is he? Oh, he. Uh, he's <laughs> 68. Wait, so you don't, do you know who Regis Philbin is? Yeah, he's the news guy. Mm, no. I mean, you're close, but no. Uh, actor. Mm, no. Regis, Regis from Regis and Kelly? Yeah, Regis from Regis and Kelly. Alive. You're so proud of yourself. He's 85. What did I say? Like 60 something. Right? I said 77. Oh, 70, yeah. Seven. I said 85. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think so. He's alive. He's 85. How's he doing? He's good, I think. Is he on Regis and Kelly? No, that show is... He retired? It has not happened in a long time, that show. So it just went on without him or he... Yeah. Is it Michael and Kelly now? Even Michael left. Is it's, it Kelly and Kelly? Kelly and Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> they keep cycling in hosts, mm-hmm. I guess. I don't watch it, but I do read Blind Gossip. Um he also hosted Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You remember that show? Yeah. And done a lot of other stuff. He's Regis. 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 John F. Kennedy. Ooh. Dead. Assassinated um forty years ago. Forty five What ago. year? Nineteen seventy three. How old was he when he died? A forty five fifty. You're very close. He died ni- uh, May 29th, 1963. And he was age 46. Okay. Close. All right. Good one. All right. Lucille Ball. Oh. Dead or alive? <laughs> <laughs> Julian, who is Lucille Ball? Um, the one in... Um, you know? Who is Lucille Ball, Julian? <laughs> That's a short for Lucille Baldwin, or that's her whole name? No. She's an actress. Yes. She was on I Love Lucy. Yes. Yes. You did know who she was. She is dead. <laughs> How dead? Like 60 years ago. Okay, give me a year. Oh, um, 1959. How old was 1969. she? 1969. Sorry, she died in 1979. How old was she? She died in 1979, and she was 93. She died in uh, April 26, 1989. Oh, I just needed to go up 10 more years. <laughs> I already miss her. Okay. You already <clears throat> miss her? We all do. She was pretty great. Andy Warhol. You got a 50-50 chance. Dead or alive, Julian? Do, Andy who's, Warhol. Who's Andy Warhol? He's an artist. Hey, yeah. Andy Warhol. He's dead. How old and when? He died when he was 60. 1960. He died February 22nd, 1987. He was 58. Pretty close. He had his age almost. Ah, Pretty close. 87. Okay. MC Hammer, dead or alive? Alive? How old is he? 74. He's alive and he is 54. I was close. You're close. <clears throat> Nelson Mandela. Dead or alive, Julian? We can chill out here on this one, because I think he died recently. And? Did he not? He's dead, right? I, that's This is the game. I can't. You have to he guess. He died when he was um, 84. When? Like five years ago. So you're not going to give me a year? Uh, 2010. He died December 5th, 2013. He was 95. 95? 95. Good for him. What a life. But he was also that conspiracy theory, the Mandela effect, that that people thought he died much earlier than he did. Oh, that's where the Mandela name comes from, in the Mandela effect? Actually, I don't know, but maybe. No. Aren't they spelled differently? Mandela. Er, I don't know. Fucking whatever. You know, I don't know. So, he died in 2013. He was 95. Yeah. Okay. 
Elvis Presley, Julian, dead or alive? Dead. When did he die? How old? He died when he was 33 in 1976. Damn, 1977, he was 42. That was close. Good one. All right. Al Gore, dead or alive? alive. He's alive. How old is Al Gore? 61. He's 68. Okay. That's pretty good. Frank Sinatra, dead or alive? Dead. Go on. He died when he was 50. Go on. In 1988. He died when he was 83 in 1998. Okay. So it wasn't really close. I just got that he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> is Madonna dead or alive? Alive. How old is she? 59. Damn. No. Yeah? yeah? She's 58. Oh, shit. You got that one pretty close. <clears throat> okay, pretty Julie. proud of that one. Okay. Mother Teresa. Dead or alive? Do you know who Mother Teresa is? Yeah. She's dead. <laughs> oh my God. What? Oh my That's God. the game we're playing. Stop looking. I'm not looking. All right. I'm how just... old and when? Are you going to make me ask you every time? Yeah. <laughs> she was 60 and she died... Is this like a trick question? Didn't she die like hundreds and hundreds of years ago? I'm not answering that. Okay, she died in 1871. And how old was she? 55 or something. She died September 5th, 1997. She was 87. <laughs> what? She died before she was born. <laughs> uh, I feel like that was a weird trick question. Why? Because her name has mother in it? Yeah, that's unfair. Oh. I contest that. <laughs> okay. Stephen Hawking, dead or alive? Alive. How old is he? 83. He's 74. Okay. Close enough. Barbara Streisand, dead or alive? Streisand. It's a good question. All right. Uh, Barbara Streisand. Is Barbara Streisand dead or alive? Who is Barbara Streisand, Julian? Singer? Know? Yes. She's alive. She's 78. She is alive. She's 74. Ooh. That was good. Okay, Julian. Princess Diana, dead or alive? Who's this? I'm not going to answer that. Just don't eat. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stop. Um, Princess Diana, dead or alive? She's alive. She's 83. Where does she live? England. She's dead. She died in 1997. She was 36 years old. Did she live in England, though? <laughs> yes. It was It was a terrible tragedy. She died in a car accident. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. We're not offended. My prayers and thoughts are with her family. Mm. Thank you for those. They weren't for you. You don't remember that? when that, I guess you were born in, what, 92? We were born in so you were five? Yeah. It was like a big, big, big deal. What? Can you explain what happened? Yeah, she got in a car accident in a tunnel. And it's, died immediately. Yeah. Well, I think. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But it was a big thing. There's a lot of conspiracy theories around it. Really? It's really yeah. It was a big deal. Wow. You know the song Candle in the Wind by Elton John? Yes. I also know the song 10,000 Candles in the Wind by Andy in Parks and Rec. Okay, totally not related. It's exactly related. I've never seen that, so I don't know what you're talking I about. I'm for you right now. Oh, please don't. Please <laughs> don't. I'm begging you, don't. Tell me how you really feel. Please. Okay. He wrote that song for Princess Diana, though. <clears throat> okay. Janet Jackson. Alive. <clears throat> how old is she? Fifty-two. She's fifty. Oof, good, I wanted to guess fifty. Good, good, good. Steve Jobs, dead. dead. Or alive? He died. He was sixty-six. When did he die? Four years ago, twenty twelve. No, he died two thousand eleven. He's fifty-six. Pretty close. Well, I guess sixty something. Sixty-six. Yeah. Yeah. Gwyneth. 
Alive. How old is 54. She? She's 44. And now insulted. <laughs> Sorry, Gwyneth. <laughs> Albert Einstein. Dead or alive? Oh, he's dead. And he died in 1953 when he was 48. He died in 1955 when he was 76. You're pretty See? close. Pretty close. close. Pretty, 48. Pretty, 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 what is wrong pretty, pretty, with me? He was, he was way older than 48 when he died. Yeah, have you seen pictures of yeah, him? Yeah, like what am I thinking? <laughs> 48. Haggard for 48. Yeah. All right. Well, you did a lot of studying, okay? You want to take a break with your nature box? <laughs> oh, like a food break? I'm just I'm just chilling. Mm. Cedar Rapids. What do we got? Keep going, baby. Barbara Walters. Dead or alive? Who's that? I'm not going to answer that question. Do you guys know who that is? She's... A news lady, and she's dead. She died in 2006, and she was 69. <laughs> she's alive. She's 87. Are you sure? You should check on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Barb. Alexander Graham Bell. Dead or alive? Dead. Died in 1951 at the age of 63. He died in 1922. Oof. 75. Do you know what he did? Alexander Graham Bell, yeah. What did he do? What did Alexander Graham Bell do? Yeah. Come on. We all know that. <laughs> you can say it if it makes you feel better, but... He invented the... What did watch. he... Watch. No, not the watch. <laughs> <laughs> the... Graham... No grand prize. No, <laughs> the grand prize. Grand Rapids. No, Cedar Rapids. He invented Cedar Rapids. He invented the bell. He invented the ruler. No. No, I'm just doing this for you. I'm playing a game with. What did What did he invent? What What did he invent? <laughs> <laughs> the phone. Yeah, didn't I say that like an hour ago when I was mm. like bell? Ding ding ding. Hello, Alex. Is Oprah Winfrey dead or alive? She's so alive. She is so alive. Do you know how old she is? Uh, Oprah. Well, I watched Super Soul Sunday, and it's been 7,000 Sundays now, so <laughs> I think she's 61. She's 62. Tight. That was a good guess. All right. Mar Marilyn Monroe, dead or alive? Dead. She died when she was <clears throat> 44 in 1980. 80? Mm -hmm. Okay. She died August 5th, 1962. She was 36. Ooh, it's close to the age, though. She's 36. Hey, you, what game. are you doing? You closed my laptop? Boy. That's so sad. She's, 30, she's six years older than me right now. That's sad. That is sad. That's morbid to think about. All right. <clears throat> Elizabeth Taylor. Dead or alive? Elizabeth Taylor. I mean, is anyone really dead? <laughs> don't know. Don't dance around it. Is she dead I'm or alive? I'm dancing. Is she dead or alive? Elizabeth line? Taylor's dead. She's dead, unfortunately. It's over. Go on. She died in 2000. She was 2000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. R.I.P. Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> she lived a long time. Zero to 2000. <laughs> Damn, she a wizard. She died in 2011. She was 79. Oh, 79 going on 2000. That was disrespectful. I apologize for that. Wow, I'm offended. Yeah. All right. Stephen King. Dead or alive? Stephen King is dead. He was an author. When did he die and how old 18, is he? 18. No, he, he died when he was, he died when he was 68 in 1999. K. 
Okay, he's alive. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Guess how old he is. Where's he been? I haven't 69. heard from him. He's, he's 69. He's 69. That's how old he, he was when he died. No, he is alive. But that's what I guessed his death age was. All right, P? No, he's alive. Well, he better be careful. <laughs> God. God. <laughs> that was so like so wrong <laughs> that it just said that. I was really hoping you were gonna go with that. He died in eighteen something. Really No, I know he didn't die in eighteen something. I was, was just thinking about stuff. Alright. Donatella Versace. Dead or alive. So really quickly, what? <laughs> You don't know who Donatella Versace is? Is that the person who invented Versace? Not invented. Is their name after? Their na- their n- Versace's named after them. The family. Oh. Uh, that died like 30 years ago in 1970. Is it a man or a woman? That's not the game we're playing. Donatella Versace. Donatella's a girl. Mm-hmm. That's not a game. <laughs> <laughs> she died in 1977. How old was she when she 88. died? 88. <clears throat> She's alive. She's 61. You don't know who that is? She has like long blonde hair, big, big lips, dark smoky eye all the time. Super- you showed me a picture of her. I probably would recognize it as I've probably seen it before, but no, I don't know. Really? The scope of my brain does not extend that far. Here. Look at this face. Oh, my minimize my thing tell me if you've ever seen this person before oh yeah i know who that is that's donatella yeah that's donatella she good what do you mean is she good what does that mean (laughs) how's her physical health is she good she is she okay i think she's all right i mean you have to ask her got a lot of work done yeah a lot of work done It's her face and her body, her choice. It's not all hers. <laughs> oh my god! All right, and you ready? Yeah. Franklin D. Roosevelt, dead or alive? Dead. Died in 1938. He was 60. He died in 1945. He was 63. <laughs> so that's not bad. That could have been. A that lot was worse. a really good guess. Thank you. That was good. All right. Michael Jordan. Alive. How old is he? <laughs> you know how this game works. Um, he's fifty-three. You're exactly right. Oh You've gotten two exactly god. right. Oh my god! This is I'm really proud impressive. Of okay. All right. Yeah. All right, Julian. This is me Air Jordaning my way <laughs> to killing this game. <laughs> Cher, dead or alive? Oh, God. Now that we know who Cher is, right, Julian? Tell us, how, tell us how again how you remember who Cher is. When I say who is Cher, she's from Stuck on You. She's alive. How old is she? Fifty-five. She's seventy. Yes, she is alive. Ooh, girl, you look good for seventy. Yeah, really though. She's seventy. Yeah the fuck yeah it's pretty wild she doesn't really right. age all right oh would that will what would that make her and stuck on you like 60 69 72 she's probably 72 and stuck on you what a great year for her that was a smash <laughs> hit how is she older then than she is now she's so <laughs> i meant 62 <laughs> sorry yeah she aged two years backwards six years ago she's actually a ago. vampire <clears throat> her name is Cher. She's so yeah she was she was at least like 64 when she made that smash hit of her lifetime. Probably the most accomplished (laughs) thing she's done. That movie. (laughs) I feel like I've only seen a part of Stuck on You. I've never seen that movie. We need to sit down and watch Stuck on You. You made me watch My Best Friend's Wedding, which I'm sorry. That movie is subpar. And if you made me watch that, I get to make you watch Stuck on You. It's a great movie, okay? Matt Damon and Greg Kinnear, wonderful together. Wonderful together. Yeah, Meryl uh, Streep's even in it. Is it's she a really? classic. Yeah, but it's meta. She's Meryl Streep in it. How did they get Meryl Streep? 
because they shot on Martha's Vineyard and she's got some ties there. Oh, I guess that makes sense. It's a wonderful movie. Shut up. <laughs> Ava Mendez, I think, is in it. Yeah, Ava Mendez. Um, yeah, the opening scene is opens up on a on a tight shot of them inside. Do you want me to just describe the movie? Is that okay? Yeah. Tight shot of them inside their Guys, apartment building. Guys, welcome to the Joe and- Julian podcast. This is the episode where Julian shot for shot describes <clears throat> the movie stuck on you. Go damn, ahead. Go cut ahead. Out, go ahead. out of the shower and they're off for a jog and they're jogging along next to each other because they're attached. They're t- attached. Yep. And Greg Kinnear's jogging and he says hi to this girl so he starts turning around as they jog and he's like chatting her up and Matt Damon's like, we gotta make time and he's like, oh, chatting her up more and then... But they're stuck together. How is one of them doing one thing? Because he's like trying... He's trying to run he's like turning around. Oh. And he's like, hey, baby. And she's like super having it because he's great with the ladies. Uh-huh. Matt Damon, on the other hand, he's more <laughs> of like a... He's more of, you know, a little introverted, I'd uh-huh. say. Then they go home, shower, back to their job. They're flipping burgers. They have this system where one of them's cutting stuff up and then they flip it over and the other guy catches it and he stacks the burger. It's great, great scene. And uh, and so, you know, work's going pretty well, but then all of a sudden this guy comes in and he's really upset with his <laughs> with his burger. <laughs> and he he's like, hey man, this is bad burger. This is not what I wanted. And then they deal with him like the school bully he is. And they get him out of there because his panties were in a bunch. And his panties were not me undies. Oh my God, Julian! That is a real plot. That no, is, I did not did lie. Not. That is exactly. That is exactly how the movie goes. That. I swear to God, you did not just do that. I, I didn't tell a single lie. That's exactly how it goes. But he wasn't wearing me undies because he would have been way happier if he was. Guys, you could get yourself some wonderful me undies right now. <laughs> I am like and you can never blown have. away that you just said that. <laughs> you were giving you us a synopsis never... of the movie stuck on you <laughs> and segued into me undies. Me undies are amazing. <laughs> we li- guys, we live in a world where putting on a new pair of underwear isn't just for us. You're stepping into a better day, okay? If you think about it, you start your day by putting on your underwear and you, you end your day by taking them off. So why not have it be the best? The best is me undies. Right now, they're producing the most comfortable underwear you've ever experienced. Our friends at me undies sent us a bunch of pairs. These are the holiday pairs right now. Uh, guys, try them on and you'll understand. This is three times softer than cotton. Three times. It's made of mo- modal fabric and it just it makes your bottom incredibly happy. Mm-hmm. And what's exciting about MeUndies is that they're always coming out with awesome new designs. Uh, try them. If they're not the most comfortable, best feeling underwear you've ever read you've ever uh, put on your your bottom in your whole life you get your first pair for free all right that's their guarantee right now you go to meandies.com slash jenna julian and you get 20 percent off your order of wonderful wonderful underwear i'm currently wearing me and i show them off boy. all the time me and these are wonderful and uh you guys should get a pair so thank you me for sponsoring us which one do you like the most i like the polka dots i like those christmas lights oh these yeah that's cool. That would be cool if they lit up, though. That would be probably dangerous. That would be tight. Um, our other sponsor this week is NatureBox, guys. Order any snacks you want, any amount, any time now, because NatureBox is no longer just a monthly subscription service. They offer complete flexibility for members uh, to order whatever they want, whenever they want. So if it were me, I would just be like, hey, can you ship like a, an entire truck full of baked blue corn tortilla chips so I can eat them on my podcast like every day? And they'd be like, yeah, sure, fam. All good. So if you go to naturebox.com slash Jenna Julian, you get 50% off your first order. And it is truly, truly wonderful. Guys, there's so many different snacks. They have sweet snacks, savory snacks, and they are made from real food. And you don't have to feel guilty when you're snacking on them, okay? They're this delicious. is not crap. They're delicious. They have everything you might want. Um, and I'm being forced to not eat these right now, but this is kind of torture because they're really, really good. And why go to the grocery store when you can plan your snacks ahead of time and get them delivered to you? Why go to the grocery store? Nature Box There's is no right here for you. And you know what, guys? If you uh, if you you know were hesitant about getting Nature Box before, now you can do it all the cart. You Without can get the snacks you want when you want. You can dictate everything, which is awesome. You know what I mean? You can customize everything about it uh, and have some delight. With NatureBox. Mm, right delight. now, go to naturebox.com slash Jenna Julian. 50% off your first Delightful. order. Delightful. Delightful. I cannot believe you just did that. Can I continue telling the story All about right, the movie? Go ahead. Keep going. Right. So, 
work ends, right? They knock this guy out. They're like, hey, you got to get out of our restaurant. This is for happiness only. So he leaves and then works over and everyone's like, you got to get to the game. They're like, oh, we got to get to the game. game. They're on a hockey team. They play goalie together. They are goalie. That's cheating. And they take this up the entire... This is a major hole plot. They take a, it, no. The, the entire net. There's nowhere to score. They just stand there. That's garbage. And there are two people. And so they, they're the town heroes because they're the best goalie. No one can score on them. And then, you know, and then uh, life happens. And they, you know, Greg Kinnear has dreams to be an actor. And Matt Damon just wants to be a small town short order cook at that burger joint. And then, so they leave. They leave each other. How do they leave each other? Gotta see the movie, find out. No, yeah. tell me. I'm not. T- I'm not ruining the movie. It's a great movie. You should watch it. I'll. I'll we'll, we'll watch it. Wait, no but more. I thought that they shared a pair of legs. No, no, no. They. It's like two people who are attached at the side. That's it. That's fucking stupid. It's not stupid. It's like the best movie of all time. Top five. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from the person who thinks the best film of all time is Big Daddy oh, I by never said Adam that. Sandler. I never said it was the best film of Big all time. Big Daddy. I never said it was the best film of all time. I said it's like one of my favorite movies. Anytime someone asks you, what's your favorite movie ever? You go, Big Daddy. That's yeah, one of them. Sorry. I love that movie. And the kid's name is Julian. Fuck out of here. You realize that At that least it's same not my person best friend's wedding. made the movie. At least it's the not my cobbler. best friend's wedding. The cobbler. You and I both watched the cobbler. Yeah, well, Sandra Bullock made some crap too, so I'm not going to start <laughs> talking about her. Wait, what does Sandra Bullock have to do with my best any friend's of this? wedding? She's the one getting married. <laughs> it's Julia Roberts, Julian. No, stop. I'm not going to let you fuck Robert. with me. No, That's now not. you're trolling. No, no, no. You know it's Julia Roberts. <laughs> Don't even troll me. <laughs> I'm not trolling Who's you. Who's the blonde girl in that movie? Who's Kimmy? I don't even know what you just said at me. What is what is that movie and who's Kimmy and what? I don't know what that is. Kimmy and my best friend's wedding. It's Sandra Bullock. The blonde Bullock. girl. She's the not blonde. blonde. Girl. Who's the blonde girl? I don't remember. What? Why do I? That, she's not a main character, easily. What's the movie about, Julian? The, she's getting married. and Who's oh, getting married? Oh, Kimmy's getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Kimmy's getting married to um, Julia Roberts' ex-boyfriend. Who's the blonde actress in that movie? I don't know. Anna Ferris. Who? Cameron Diaz. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah. So she's getting married to... See how hard this is to keep track? A better movie would just be stuck on you because <laughs> it's it's got all the character development and the storyline without any of the confusion. I need to know how they come the apart. How do they go, come apart? They have surgery. And then they don't know how to live. They like walk in opposite directions and they keep falling over. <laughs> are you Are you serious? Yes. They keep falling over. Yeah. They walk out of the hospital, <laughs> stand up out of their wheelchair, and then they both walk and fall into the bushes. It's a really classic moment in cinema. Is history. it meant to be like a funny movie? Of course. It's a comedy. Is it a comedy? It's a comedy. It's not it's not it's a comedy. <laughs> Ask Cher, okay? It's like her shining moment. As okay, an what's Cher's role in the movie? She's Cher. She's herself? Yeah. Why are they meeting all these because celebrities? Because they're going to Hollywood. He wants to be an actor. But I thought they shot it in Martha's Vineyard. They leave Martha's Vineyard because Greg Kinnear wants to be an actor. So they go to Hollywood to pursue okay, his dream. So you're calling Martha's Vineyard small town? What? Yeah. It's like one of the richest places in the country. But it's still a small town. It's physically a small town. Okay, so they're stuck on each other and fucking loaded is what you're saying. No, they're not loaded. If they were loaded, why would they be short order cooks? That doesn't make sense. In Not Martha- everyone who lives in Martha's Vineyard is loaded. Boy, where do they live? New England. In Martha's Vineyard? That's Yeah, somewhere. Do they live in a house in Martha's they Vineyard? They live in a tiny apartment. In a tiny apartment? Yeah. Well, Are you lying to me? I think it was an apartment. <laughs> I want to watch this movie and look at their house. You're not allowed to watch this and movie then, if you're just going to poke holes in it the whole time. You the, get to watch it and enjoy it. Just like I watched estate. My Best Friend's Wedding and enjoyed that absolutely subpar movie. That movie is great. Subpar. It's wonderful. So I'm supposed to just like root against a happy wedding for a whole two hours? Wow, what a fun movie experience no, that is. No, you're not. She doesn't marry him at the end. Yeah, but like she fucks everything up and then he goes on with his life and he's just it like, teaches oh, you it could have been life, moved. About how to seize the moment. And if you want something, act on it then. Don't be selfish and act on it 20 years from then. I think the director of that movie was selfish for being involved in that movie. It was a bad movie. <laughs> Anyways, are we going to finish this game, Julian? Oh, yeah. What game? We're playing Dead or Alive. 
<laughs> Did you ever play Dead or Alive on Xbox? Because that was like better than Mortal Kombat. I'll say it. What's it's Dead be- or it Alive on Mortal- Xbox? It was a combat game. Better than Mortal Kombat. Really? Yeah. No. It was like the two on, you know, that type of game where you du- duel each other, like on, you know, you fight. Yes. But the characters, the moves, the stages, everything was better than Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I'll say it. I don't care. Unpopular opinion? Unpopular opinion. Why? Because Mortal Kombat was more popular? It's always been more popular. I love Dead or Alive, though. Dead or Alive. All right, let's continue. Speaking of which, Rosa Parks. Dead. How old and when? Wait. Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks. she alive? I'm not going to answer that. Don't don't whisper at me. (laughs) Oh, I just want to check something right there. No, what? you're not allowed to look it up. <laughs> Answer the question. Okay. Um, she's... Rosa Parks is alive. How old 85. is she? 85. 87. She is dead. She died in 2005. Oh, I'm so sorry. She was 92. That. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can we move on? Yeah. Sorry. Tina Turner. Do you know who that is? Tina Turner. <laughs> Who's Tina Turner? To? <clears throat> she was um, she was the one in there that, that thing. What did she do for a living? She was a singer. Mm-hmm. She yeah, sing? Actually, yes. Tina Turner. She's dead. When did she die? And how old was she? She died in two thousand and four, at age sixty six. She's alive. <laughs> She's seventy seven. <laughs> 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 this is worse. This is worse than celebrity. Why? Because I feel like if I get this wrong, I disrespect that person. <laughs> no, no. All right. We're all on the same page. It's all in good fun. What page? The uh, 64. 70? Oh. oh. Uh, Joseph Stalin. De- Stop eating chips. Boy, if you don't, don't put it in your mouth. Don't. Ador. Ador. Oh, touch the butt. <laughs> Joseph Stalin, dead or alive? Dead. Died at 66 in 1989. He died in 1953. He was 74. <laughs> <laughs> That's close. That's close. Like close. Like close. Steven Spielberg. Alive. Still creating bangers. Dropping bangers. Are you going to tell me how old he is? He's 68. Damn, he's 69. That's a good year. guess. Good guess. <clears throat> All right. Patrick Swayze. Alive. 62. He died in 2009. Oh, he's 57. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we wish, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, Pete. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right, Joey. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Helen Keller. She's dead. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? She said she's dead. I literally just said she's dead. Okay. She's dead. When did she die and how old is she? She died at 70, 70 in 1999. She died in 1968. <laughs> she was 57. <laughs> but if you do the math, she would have been 70 in 1999. Mm-hmm. Mm. Either way, RIP. <laughs> John Travolta. Alive. He's 60. Is that the end of that mm-hmm. sentence? Yeah. He's 62. Oh. That was really good. Good work. Queen Elizabeth II. Alive. 90. You're exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> really? you really right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why am I getting that one right? It's What's like, wrong with me? so ridiculous. <laughs> Alive. She's 90. Yeah, I'm kind of crushing this game right yeah. now. You, how many have you gotten exactly right? I think, three? I think three. Three or four? Yeah, I got I got this one. Um, <clears throat> who else did I get right? Do you remember? I got... Uh, no, nope, I've actually just blacked out this one. Yeah, time. you guys... No, I did remember until track. you told the synopsis of Stuck on You, and then I... AKA delved into the best part of the podcast. Wow, I hate you. Wow. I'm stuck on you. <laughs> Can you imagine if we were stuck together? That'd be fucking weird. You basically are. <laughs> Aww, you sweet. Aww, Aww. Ow, my heart. Uh, Ow. Uh, you 
Did you just break my wrist? No, I said, love you. <laughs> Sorry. Ludwig van Beethoven, dead or alive? Dead. How dead? Died in 1899 at age 56. He died in 1827 at age 56. 56, though. Okay, th- like, what are you looking? How are you getting these? How can I be looking? I'm sitting here thinking about stuck on you, looking at a camera. <laughs> <laughs> what you see is what you get. <laughs> oh, I hate you. Oh, God. Nicolas Cage. Alive. Thank God. <laughs> he's, he's 64. He's 52. Ah. What's the name of that video? Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Let me look it up. Nicolas Cage has anger problems. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of the best videos it's, it's, ever. It's like a compilation of him having freakouts in Freaking movies. out, I think is what it's called. Nicolas Cage freakout compilation. Yeah, I'm going to look it up when right he, now. When the music slows down, then he goes up he and then punches, just punches that, that woman like face. three times in the head. <laughs> Can we watch it? Okay, there's Freak no need to watch it. You know, no, 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 we're going to watch it. It's fine. We're going to watch it. Nicolas Cage freak out compilation. It's one of the best. No, you're looking at my I'm list. Not Hold at on. The list. Just <laughs> don't look at my list. Right. Yes. Get to the part where he punches her. I just. Get to it. I want to see what he punches him. Alright, I wanted to listen to the part where he just yells how to get burned, how to get burned, how to get burned. Because I say that all the time and no one knows what I'm talking about. This is a great video, but it is. It's called Nicolas Cage Freak Out Montage. It only has half a million views. Like, how? Why? It's a great, mo- great movie. That video is a great movie. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> it's, uh, it's four minutes. It's 420. <laughs> yes. I think this is it. Yes. When he just walks up to this woman and punches her in the face. <laughs> So he's walking down a set of stairs right now, just staring at this older woman. <laughs> he her, like three times. <laughs> he, that's him in a bear suit punching another person. How to get burned? How to get burned? All right. This is great. That's it. All right. I think we just had the podcast right there. You can't get any better than that. That is quality cinema. Really? Go go look up that video. It is one of the best things. That is among it. among the ranks of step on uh, stuck on you. Truly, no. Yeah, it is. It is. But anyways, yes. <sighs> Nicholas Cage. He's alive. He's alive and well. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> is he well? Is anyone well? Walt Disney. Dead. Died at 71 in 1999. He died in 1966. He was 65. R.I.P. R.I.P. Okay, Julian. Whoopi Goldberg. Dead or alive? Alive. Currently on The View. Or did she leave? How do you know that? Trust me, I've seen my fair share of, of view videos. Oh, okay. I look those up. How old is she? When I want to get angry about stuff, mm-hmm. I just like watch the view and I'm like, mm-hmm. I can do anything. <laughs> How old is she? 70. She's 61. Good guess. All right. Olivia Newton-John. Dead or alive? Alive. She's 65. Do you know who that is? She's alive and she's 65. Who is Olivia Newton-John? That is not what I signed up for. Who is Olivia Newton-John? Elton John's wife. 
She is not Elton John's wife. <laughs> Does that look super wrong? Uh, no, I mean, it makes sense. But Elton John's no. daughter. Not Elton John's daughter. Elton John's mom. No, she is not Elton John's mom. She related to Elton John? She is not related to Elton John. I don't know who she is. Have you ever seen the movie Grease? <gasps> you want to live in it? Want to live in it? Honey. That, yes. She's the girl, Sandy? She's Sandy. Oh, no way. That's her? <laughs> Oh, no way. (laughs) That's so great. Wait, is she dead? You already guessed. Now that you know who she is, is she dead or alive? She's alive. How old is she? 71. She is alive. She is 68. Oh, no way. That's so great for her. It's so great for her. What an accomplished life. I love that movie. Mm -hmm. (sighs) Okay. Ernest Hemingway. Dead or alive? Dead. Died at 73 in 1999. Why is everyone dying in 1999? It's a bad year for people. <laughs> Just that couldn't quite make it to that millennium. Nope. Um, that's terrible. No, he died in 1961. He was 61. Okay. Oh, he was 61? Mm-hmm. Do do do. What are you doing? What are you doing? He just put me undies over his eye. All right. <laughs> Julian, is Michael Kors dead or alive? Alive. <laughs> Why don't you tell everyone who Michael Kors is? He's a former judge on Project Runway. And that's about it. You liked Michael Kors, though. I did, but I like Tim Gunn way better. Yeah, we no, you like genuinely like Tim Gunn. No, I like love Tim Gunn. Like, I want him to be my dad. I know. Everybody does. Um... Tell us how you feel about Zach Posen. Uh, not the biggest fan. Not the biggest fan. Uh, not the biggest fan. Although, now that we watch Project Runway All-Stars, I get that as much as I may not like him at times, he is a good judge. He is a good judge. Uh, but you get mad at him. He gets a little bitchy sometimes. And I think he does it just to be the bitchy judge. Like, he's trying so hard to be that guy. When it's like, all right, Posen, calm down. You're posing a little bit. Shots fired. <clears throat> Unhooks mic, drops. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. Alive. How old is he? 60, no, 72. He's 70. Very close. Coco Chanel. What is that? What is that? Coco Chanel. Like Chanel from Ridiculousness? Oh my god. <laughs> what is Coco Are you talking Chanel? about Chanel West Coast? Yeah. No. Who's what's Coco Chanel? Do you know like why don't you let's just you narrate your reasoning <laughs> trying okay, to figure all, out. Okay, you said Coco, which doesn't sound like a name, and then Chanel is the name of the brand Chanel. Is that associated with this? Keep going, figure it out. So you Coco did. Chanel started the brand Chanel. She died back in 1999 when everyone else died. Guess a real year. You can't keep guessing the same year. Yes, I can. No, nowhere in the rule book does it stipulate I can't repeatedly guess 1999. <laughs> <laughs> 99, she died. You're right, though. She did. She started Coco. She got, started Chanel. Okay. What so year different did... Chanel so you're saying Chanel that she's dead? Goes. She died in 1999. How old was she? 68. She died in 1971, which is not 1999, and she was 87. Okay. That was a good long life. Accomplished some good stuff. I will guess that someone died in 1999, and it will be correct. There's only three left on this list, boy. OJ Simpson, dead or alive. <clears throat> um, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's fifty-eight. He's sixty-nine. Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> but he's alive. Yeah. All right. Edgar Allan Poe. Dead or alive. The Raven. That's right. Julie. I love that poem. Okay. 
I he... love the Simpsons episode where they reenact the Raven, where uh, it was one of their Halloween specials. I got to be honest, my only time as a kid really interested in the Simpsons was when they did the Halloween specials because those they were, were actually really so great. good. They oh were yeah, really those were great. Um, Edgar Allan Poe is is dead. He died in 1999 when he was 68. Don't... 78, sorry. Guess a real year. Come on. Okay, 1984. He died in 1849, and he was 40. Did I say 18, 1984? I meant 1884. 1849. 1848. All right, this is the last one. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, dead or alive? Kareem. <laughs> Do you know him? Yeah, of course I know him. Basketball Know player. him personally? Oh. Kareem! Go ahead. He's alive. How old is he? He's 54. He's 69! <laughs> he also got a Medal of Freedom the other day from President Obama. Kareem. Obama was, he like leaned back really funny to get Kareem with the hook. That's right. You did pretty good. I'm not going to lie. You did much better than I thought you were going to do. I also guessed a few exactly correct. So. That's kind of insane. So I guess the moral of this podcast is that we all should just go watch. Stuck on you right now. Ugh, I really don't. We want should to watch no. It. You know what we should do? We won't watch it right now. What we'll do is we'll ask the Ding Fam when you guys want to have a live viewing party. We will live tweet. Step on you. No, stuck on you. I am not agreeing to We're this. We're live tweeting. I am not live we are tweeting. Live stuck tweeting. On you. Stuck, on, stuck on you. We're gonna both. Um, <clears throat> Be we're gonna live tweet it, and you guys are gonna watch it at the same time we do. So we'll all watch along and live tweet. <laughs> be a weekly weekly thing. No, no. In fact, I think in 2016 we're canceling the podcast, and every Monday instead we're all gonna live tweet stuck on you every week. No. <laughs> okay, we have to watch it at least once. No. And when we watch it, I will live tweet it. No. No, like, I don't even care what you say. That's happening. I'm watching Stuck on You, and I'm going to live tweet it. In fact, I can't believe I haven't live tweeted it before. <laughs> it's such a good movie to live tweet. I'm not here for any of this. I'm going to live tweet Stuck on You. Guys, let me know when you want to live tweet Stuck on You, and we'll we'll do it. Anyways, I'm not being a part I'm of that. I'm having a meetup this weekend, and ex- instead of me meeting you guys, I'm just going to go to a movie theater and watch Stuck on You, and I'll be there. That's my meetup. You're gonna have a hard time convincing a movie theater to to screen stuck on you. I know a movie theater that are big fans of Matt Damon. They Which will, one's that? The Cinema Arc. On That's 40, not a place. That is not a place. There is no 40th Street. <laughs> so this is Los Angeles. <laughs> There's a 40th Street. Yeah, where is it? Downtown. Mm-hmm. Downtown. No. Maybe there is, but. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for watching another week of the podcast. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I hate you so much. Don't get you're such a me. shit this whole time. 1999 and stuck on you. You know what? Someone fucking died in 1999 and rest in peace to them because they died for a good reason at least. Not to say that no one else in this podcast what died for a good fuck? reason. Oh my God. All right. <clears throat> we got to end this. Why? Because it's so much. It's so fun. No, those ones are mine. Don't put those ones on your head. All you right. mean this one? This one's yours? The one on my head? We love you guys. We love you, Ding Fam. Thank love you, you sponsors. Fam. Thank you, Nature Box. Thank you, MeUndies. Go, go check out the sponsors. Links in the description, as always. You and guys are the best. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week yeah. for another Jen and Julian podcast. Thank you for putting all of my underwear on your head. Bye, guys. Bye. (laughs) Bye.